Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. Can I just start off by saying that blue shirt you're wearing is just a whole nother level of fashion. Like, I just want to congratulate you on being a bad bitch. <laughs> but I have a brand new video for you guys today. We are doing another boxy charm base box unboxing. Of course, we do these once a month on my channel because the box comes <laughs> once a month. So that's of course how often we're going to do it. But the May one just came in, so of course gonna unbox that for you guys and let you guys know what I got, if I'm gonna use it or not, and if the box is worth getting it, of course. That's the most important part. So make sure you guys keep on watching if you wanna know if BoxyCharm is something you should pick up. Make sure to let me know what you think about this video and make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and make sure you hit that post notification icon so you're notified every single time I drop brand new videos just like this one right now. But yeah, let's get right into it. So we have, of course, the BoxyCharm box. It's obvious as usual. Usually I would do a base box video and a premium video, but it seems as though most do not care for the premium video nor do I care for the premium box itself. So we are sticking to just the base box. Mostly the best stuff comes in the base box, except for that Fenty one. That Fenty one was pointed. Maybe we'll go back, who knows. But <laughs> I'm back, 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 back again. Okay, so um, this is what the box looks like, of course, like always. I mean, the box is always like the same. So we got five items in our boxy charm this month. So first up, we have the Hollywood California Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. And this is what this looks like. Oh, old YouTube style. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Let me stop. But um, yeah, I chose this. So this is the thing we got choice. I wanted the um, Hourglass Concealer. Or I think it was a highlighting stick. One of those two. But that shit sold out in like two seconds. So I was very, very saddened. But it's okay. I've never tried Glam Glow, actually. Um... I know it's owned by Estee Lauder, <laughs> but <laughs> let's, um, I mean, you guys already know the skincare stuff, obviously, I tried it on later and let you guys know what I think, but let's see what it smells like, because that's what we do on this channel. What smells like? It smells like, and looks like yogurt, like, tell me that doesn't look like yo plate. It's so thick. It smells like a little bit of alcohol, too, though, like wine or, like, sangria. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, this says... A creamy, nutrient-dense soothing mask with antioxidant, rich berries, and probiotics that instantly boosts skin's health, restores radiance, and balances skin's biome. Wow, it's like Minecraft. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm excited to try this, honestly. I don't like anything that's like um, exfoliating, and it's nice that this is a mask. You know, you just wipe it off. I guess you wear it for like 10 minutes. But yeah, I'll check that out. Next! We have a brand new brand I've never tried before, actually. We have the House Laboratories Liquid Eyeliner, and this retails for $20. Lay down the line with a swig of our long-wearing liquid eyeliner. The super fine, flexible tip guides your line without tugging or flaking or subtle for subtle to bold precision that won't skip a beat. Wow, so I, I've been wanting to try House Laboratories, actually. Cause you know, why not? Of course, I've heard a lot of good things, especially about this product. This is like, came one of their like, number ones. Oh, and the packaging is iconic. Six months, wow, look at that. It has like that, like different top, like Gaga. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice flick right there. Let's try it out on my hand. Ooh, whoa, this shit's pigmented. Like this is no joke. Holy shit, do you see that? And those are like single swipes on my hand. Holy crap. I love any eyeliner, of course, especially a felt tip. A nice hard felt tip, not super hard, but like medium stiff. <laughs> Next, we have the Tristique Cover and Concealer Crayon. This is what this looks like. And this is in the shade Toffee. So this retails for $24. Finally, you can have extra smooth, easy glide application with full flexible coverage and a lightweight feel. The ultra creamy, long lasting formula takes coverage and correction to a new level. S how do they have my color though? I mean, I guess we'll try it out. I don't know if this is my shade, but this is what it looks like. Let's give it a swatch on my hand. 
Oh, it's magnetic. <laughs> that was satisfying. I don't think it's my... Mm, maybe. I think it's too orangey for me. We'll try it out. Alright, what's next? What's next? Next, we got the Appeal Cosmetics Ultra Creme Liquid Lipstick. This is what this looks like. Let me open this up. Oop. Oop. Stunning. How the fuck do I open this? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, the packaging is complicated. <laughs> I can't open stuff that doesn't make sense. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Appeal Ultra Creme Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Naked. This is what it looks like. It doesn't smell like anything. That's not satisfying. The formula looks good. Let's do a swatch. This is a swatch on my hands. And this is a luxurious cream lipstick that sides on with the ease and stays comfortable all day. This lipstick has a satin finish and covers with one application, rich in color and in a decadent addition to everyone's makeup collection. And this retails for $21. I've never heard of a peel. But I mean, um, I'm going to see how it dries down, and then I'll let you guys know. It might not because it's a satin, but the color looks pretty nice. But not to say I don't already have that color. I mean, that's not fair. I have the whole ColourPop collection with, like, mad colors. <laughs> but let's go into the next product. And last but not least, we have the Tarte Micellar Magic Water. This retails for $18. The Ultimate Lazy Girl Hack. This micellar water is a gentle, no-rinse facial cleanser that removes waterproof and long wear makeup. Excess oil and impurities without stripping your skin's natural moisture. And this retails for $18. Did I say that? I don't know. This is what it looks like. I smelled it already. It doesn't have a smell. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to try this out. Fun fact, I actually wanted to try this out. And now I got it in my box. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much everything. So I guess, should I try out these products? There's not a lot of them. But I guess we could try them out. I shot the concealer and the liquid lipstick and obviously the micellar water to take my makeup off. But um, let's try those out because I'm more concerned about the concealer. I just want to know if it's my color or not. Because most of the other products, you know, it's just like a, a eyeliner is an eyeliner. Yes, it's black. We get it. <laughs> a face mask is a face mask. A micellar water is a micellar water. A lipstick is a lipstick. Like, we get it. But let's see if this concealer works. So I'm just going to go in with my Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Foundation and the shade Golden Honey. And then we'll put that all over my face. And then we're going to try out this concealer and see how it looks. But yeah, let's go in with a beauty blender, of course. How's stuff going for you guys? How's quarantine? How are you guys taking care of yourselves? What are you guys doing during quarantine? Right now, I've just been working, of course, on the YouTube videos for you guys. I also have another job. I work at a vape shop. <laughs> it's, it's fun, I guess. Am I a vapor? Who knows? Who will ever know? <laughs> you guys have to stay tuned to find that out. It's fun. I, I, I do stuff. Mm, meet a lot of interesting customers. <laughs> and then, of course, when I'm not doing that, I'm working on the podcast. Think of the podcast. Of course, you guys should listen. It's hilarious. Or working on the merch, which I'm wearing right now, actually. Fun fact. So let's give a little sneak peek. This is one of the shirts. This is a a collection shirt and it's in a white on black i love this shirt there's a long sleeve but <laughs> make sure you guys stay tuned we are doing four different giveaways on the instagram 50 dollar gift cards four of them we're giving away coming up to launch so make sure you guys go follow our instagram at Deek of the podcast so you guys could win some Deek of the merch gift cards we got hoodies we got t-shirts we got long sleeves we have hats we have a beanies we have fanny packs we have so much stuff it's amazing and i'm so excited because i really love doing the podcast i feel like i feel like they're different sides of my personality like my makeup is just my very artistic and like calm side because i'm never usually this like calm and then the podcast is my love to learn and explore new ideas side of my brain that's always looking for new things so it's pretty cool Cause I'm always talking about different stuff on the podcast. Cause of course, got to keep you kids entertained for the children. Of course, <laughs> this is not for the kids. <laughs> ah, there's a ghost in here. <laughs> All right, I'm taking too long. Honestly, it's not like I'm fucking going anywhere. So I'm just gonna go in with the 
a light layer of foundation like that's pretty coverage for me already you know what i'm saying like who are you guys to judge me how much coverage i want <laughs> all right so besides all the fucking cameo hairs that are falling and curling sorry my hair is always a mess on this channel it's my favorite part you're here for some good makeup and some messy hair <laughs> Fun fact, if any of you were wondering, I almost never do my makeup on my forehead because you can't see it. <laughs> All right, so let's try out this Tristique Conceal and Correct Stick because apparently they think they know my shade and it's toffee for them. Toffee. <laughs> but I like the magnet. Look, look, look. I love a good magnet. Watch, 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 watch. Finesse. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Toffee Concealer where I would usually conceal. <laughs> I don't think this is my color. <laughs> Woo! Oh God, that's blood. Like James says, guys, blend, but don't blend in. <laughs> <sighs> I love this community. Oh, this is disgusting. No, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Do you see this? It's like crusty under my eyes and it's now blending out. This is not it. <laughs> mm -mm. No, 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 no. It didn't do anything. <laughs> it just got crusty and got under my eyes. And on my tin, it didn't even blend out. And barely on my nose. And it didn't even highlight how I wanted it to highlight. Let's go in with a real concealer so you guys can see what it should look like. I'm going to go in with the Ilmaki Aj fucking flawless concealer. Now that's some brightening. <laughs> no ma'am <laughs> first time ever i think that no 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 that's not the first time that's not the first time who remembers who remembers this person right here? <laughs> little throwback uh maybe second third time i don't like a product i hate this um the formula sucks it's not creamy it's dry as hell it was actually hurting my under eyes while putting it on I tried to warm it up while doing the bridge of my nose, but once I got back to the other eye, it was just dry and hard again. I can kind of see that clumpy, disgusting formula still under my concealer currently, and it didn't even blend into my chin. Oh, I'm my computer. <laughs> no. <laughs> not today. Not on this channel. So, next. And then we're just going to try out the Appeal Ultra Cream Liquid Lipstick. I do like how it kind of dried down on my hand. It didn't dry down completely, but it has like a nice little finish. But let's see how it feels on the lips. That's what's most important. Wow, this is really nice, actually. It feels like a really, really creamy lip. Like, just like a regular one, like I throw on. And it looks really nice, too. I actually really like this. I would love pick picking up some more of these what's the, the only downside is it doesn't have the best formula but it looks nice i like this all right that's pretty much it for the boxy charm no eyeshadow palette <laughs> thank the boxy charm god i was like please stop with the palettes like please <laughs> the thing the way i see it is like a palette is so difficult to give in a boxy charm unless you know like it's a really really good palette because a palette is so subjective, like you pick a palette because you like the colors, you like the brand, like it's a lot of X, Y, and Z compared to a mascara. A mascara does one job. You want it to lengthen, volumize, whatever. It comes in one thing, like mascara is one size fits all. Eyeshadow palettes sometimes cannot be that. So what do I think? The micellar water, I already know it's gonna be amazing. Imagine it didn't work, I'd want my money back. I'd, of course it's gonna work. This is amazing, of course. Like I said, it's freaking black as hell. Look at the back of my hand. Will I do a video comparing it to the Marc Jacobs one? Hmm. Drop a comment down below if you want that. <laughs> I'm going to try out the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Glow Face Mask. And I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Um, we don't want this garbage. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and of course, the lipstick. This is really nice too. 
really liking the slip. It's looking very nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this month's boxy charm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out the podcast. My podcast there's a brand new episode every week. I will leave the link in the description down below. The the merch is coming very very soon, of course. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.